There is a building in Berlin that since 1931 has been the focus of memorialization of Germany's war dead. It is also where German military tradition has continued remarkably unchanged, even though the nation has changed dramatically. This building, the Neuerwache, or New Guardhouse on the Unter den Linden, has been a focal point for military display and national remembrance from the Weimar Republic, through the Third Reich, East Germany, and to the present Federal Republic. It has survived Allied bombing, Soviet shelling, and communist architects, and is still relevant to Germany today, and still used for state ceremonies. Constructed on the orders of King Friedrich Wilhelm III of Prussia in 1818 as a guardhouse for the Berlin Royal Palace, the building served this purpose until the fall of the Hohenzollern dynasty in 1918. In 1931 it was repurposed as a Great War Memorial. Inside, the interior was converted into a memorial hall, a black square of granite with an oak wreath standing under a central skylight. The Weimar Republic's small army, the Reichswehr, posted sentries at the building each day. Here we see the Reichswehr mounting the guard, a ceremony that will be remarkably unchanged right up to the present day in 2018. Here, the guards are armed with the First World War Mauser Model 98 rifle. The Nazis used the building as a focus for the annual Heroes Memorial Day parade, commemorating fallen soldiers and civilians. Army sentries mounted guard all year round from the Berlin Guard Battalion. Here we see Hitler and various other Nazi dignitaries leading the memorial and laying a wreath inside the building. By now the sentries outside were armed with the World War II Mauser 98K rifle. The building was badly damaged in the latter stages of the war by both Allied bombing and then the street fighting in Berlin with the Red Army. After the war, it was within Communist East Berlin. In 1957, the East Germans decided to use the building once more, and in 1960, it reopened as a memorial to the victims of fascism and militarism. The remains of an unnamed World War II soldier and a concentration camp victim were interned inside. Guards were drawn from the Friedrich Engels Regiment of the National People's Army, the NVA, and were a major tourist draw. You may notice that the drill used in the changing of the guard ceremony is identical to that used by the Wehrmacht and the earlier Reichswehr. Considering these are communist troops, this is quite remarkable. The East German guards were armed with the Soviet SKS rifle. With German reunification, the Neuerwache was reused once again. In 1993 it was rededicated as the central memorial to the Federal Republic of Germany to the victims of war and dictatorship. The East German memorial inside was removed and replaced with a new statue of a mother and child. Guards from the Bundeswehr's Wack Battalion Berlin mount guard on special occasions. Interestingly, the guards are armed with World War II era Mauser 98K rifles with all Nazi insignia ground off. They conduct almost exactly the same drill movements as their predecessors in the East German Army, the Wehrmacht and the Reichswehr. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have please do subscribe and also share and support me on Patreon, many thanks.